Hi, I'm Rachel, and this video is going to show DRS2S, or double rubozo shoulder to shoulder, which is a really comfortable back carry. And throughout the video, I'm going to compare this carry to double hammock, because it's very similar, but it's really easy to get them confused. In um, double hammock, you start a uh, short distance off center so that your baby will end up in the, the center marker will end up in the middle of your back, and you'll have a short tail coming over one shoulder. And DRS2S, you go the opposite direction, same distance, but you'll have a long tail coming over your shoulder and a short tail under your shoulder. Uh-oh. Shut that door. Okay. Um, so then you can go ahead and get your baby on your back. Matthew, look what I have. Come here, buddy. Matthew. Hey. Look at this. I have a shoe. You want to play with a shoe and a pony? Okay, ready? So you want to get your baby on your back, and you're going to have a long tail coming over one shoulder, and short tail coming under. I always like to put my short tail under my dominant arm, and it's easier for me to get my baby down that way. Hey! Hey, 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 look. 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 Okay. So I'm going to pin the top rail so it's going to pull him, even though he's all wiggly. And then I'm going to reach straight back, pull straight down, get as much slack out as I can, and pop my seat up, like that. And now, I'm going to just kind of gather this top rail, and this one coming over the side. I'm going to take the long one over to my opposite armpit, and I'm going to take the short one between my knees. With the long one, I'm going to flip it up, flipping the fabric so that the opposite rail is on top. And then I'm going to spread to make another rebozo pass. I'm going to make it nice and snug and tight. Kind of strand by strand tighten here. I know. If you try to like straighten while you're wrapping, you can just put your arm across and um, bend their legs again. Hi. There you go. If you stand back up, usually they'll stop the leg straightening. Then you're going to take this tail through this chest back the shoulder to shoulder chest belt which this carry is named after. So now you've got two tails that are about the same length and here you can kind of do a little extra strand by strand tightening. Okay, okay. Um, this is more comfortable if these little knots are towards your armpit than um, elsewhere and then you just take it in the back, cross under your baby's bottom and tie in front. And the last thing you can do is spread the shoulder which makes it really comfortable. And just make sure the knots feel comfortable and make sure they're not landing on, you know, any fabric or anything that's bothering you. Um, most people find them more comfortable toward your armpits rather than closer together. That's double rebozo shoulder to shoulder. And, oh, I'd like to show how to get down from this too. Just because this one is a little bit confusing to get down from if you're used to double hammock. Um, so you just untie. And take out your cross passes. And then you yeah. need to take out this one that you tucked under. <laughs> Next. And try not to lose your tension on this anchor point if you can. Then you undo this one, reverse the pass. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Back, down. Okay. All right. Down. Um, take off that reverse pass and get back to this one anchor point that you first had. And you can just slide your baby under your arm. And that's why I like to put the short tail under my dominant arm because it's more, it's easier to get them out that way. Oh, I thought it was very good, thank you.